Well, Michael, welcome to Las Vegas and welcome, I should say, to the UFC. Yes. Finally, it's really yeah. been a long time coming. So yes. what has the last couple of months been like for you? Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's been a bit surreal. There's just moments of excitement, like, oh my God, I'll, I'm, I'm at the UFC. Moments of just feeling normal again and just kind of getting to work, being a bit more inspired in training. And yeah, there's, there's ups and downs in, in a good way, all in, all in a positive way. So I'm just excited to, to, to be out here. And you've always said that from the start of your MMA career, the UFC was the goal to work towards for you. When you finally get to step in the octagon in Miami, what do you think that will feel like? Weird enough, I'm, I'm hoping it should feel just normal. And because I know that's, that would be me performing at my best. If I make it feel like anything else, and then that's going to be me unsure about what's going to happen, you know, or unsure about myself. Um, I w I'm hoping I go in there and it's just, it just feels like home. It just feels normal and then I can just perform the way I know I, I, I can perform here at the UFC. Love it. Well, we'll talk about Miami in a second, but I actually want to go back to the start for you. I think your family, your upbringing is so unique, especially in a sport like this one. So what was it like growing up in a house where you had four siblings that were kickboxing world champions? Yes, yeah, six of us. Yeah. So six, uh, six of the other siblings and seven of us all together. Um, yeah, it was, it's weird. Like, um, our, our fights were pretty technical. <laughs> so we're pretty like you know very accurate punches and kicks um but no no we did we, we 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 really got on really really well i think um because we did get to you know beat on each other a little bit in training that like we get a lot of that kind of tension out so even our arguments um not not they're never really that big um my sister's the the oldest of the sibling and she she's the, she's the queen of the household so she uh she made sure we was all in order anyway we, we just couldn't mess around with her, even till this day now, we don't mess around with her. And um, so yeah, now it, it, we, we, had a, we had a good time. I think we enjoyed ourselves. The, the trips back and forward to competitions, we just really enjoyed that, that time together. And obviously, regardless of the result, I never used to really win that much at the time. My sister was really good. My older brother was uh, really good. Um, but at that time, I, I sucked, to be fair. And, uh, but I just enjoyed just being around the competition, being around. We used to travel a lot, meet new people. I think this is why I like traveling and meeting people now. It's just, I've, I've been that way from a young age. You really live the life of a martial artist, not just in the gym, but when you went home too. When you think about just your childhood and the way that you grew up, how did that impact you as an athlete as you grew into this career? Yeah, I think, um, it allowed for me to be the kind of creative person I am in the cage because it, you have to be very confident in yourself in order to kind of execute that kind of behavior uh, at such a high level. So, but it's because I feel like I've got so much experience at being on show and competing um, and just being comfortable with punches and kicks flying towards your face, as comfortable as you can be anyway. Um, it's a... Uh, that experience, uh, having people, being on show, having people watching and kind of put, put, being an entertainer is just all uh, accumulated to these moments in, in mixed martial arts. Definitely an entertainer. Yeah. And I think Kevin Holland is as well. You yeah. both separately are so interesting yeah. as fighters and very entertaining. What is it about this matchup though that excites you? Um, I think it's one of the main things that excites me, this fight, specifically is, is it shows the respect that the UFC have given me as well like they're not they're not like okay we're, we're gonna warm you up and give you someone like this you know that's not that's not rated or you know new to the to the game they're like no Kevin Holland and that's the that's the perfect guy you know his game he's, he's tough tough as nails um, entertaining like I'm a fan of him as well like away from you know I always like to take myself to one side and just be uh, a fan of the sport. There are certain guys that I've just, I just watched their fights and they've had some epic fights. And I'm a fan of him from that, from that perspective. Um, but I'm, when I come back to, you know, being MVP, it's, you know, we're prize fighters and I, I got to win that prize. Um, and I'm looking forward to putting on the show and doing that. But um, it's, it's an exciting fight for a lot of people because you know it's going to be an entertaining fight. And you know that um, we're both just going to bring our all. 
And like I said, it just starts me at the top. It shows respect from the UFC. So it just is only for keep, you know, I'm only going to keep climbing from there, which is a great start. And not only to have such an entertaining matchup in your debut, but to get to do this in Miami, where I know you have family. Yeah, yeah. When you got the call that it was Miami, what were the thoughts? Yeah, I think it's funny, because when I told my sister that, like, yo, sis, I got, I got signed to the UFC, she's like, oh, yeah, so she got excited, da, da, da. I was like, I'm actually going to be fighting in, in March. She's like, oh, that's sick, that's, that's quite soon, yeah, let's go, like, I'm, I'm excited, excited. I'm gonna, and it's in Miami. She went, what? Right. So that, the, the reaction to it being in Miami was the biggest reaction, not that I got signed to UFC. It's just like, what? What is where we are? So yeah, everybody, the whole family's excited. Um, it's going to be nice. Like, for, uh, Miami does feel like a home away from home, just because of the amount of friends and family uh, that I have over there. So I always say, like, fighting in the UK is always nice, simply because I'm very present. So I can I can be fighting and look at the corner of my eye and see somebody that I know and see somebody now. And even on the walkout, I see your friends and family around. Um, and it would be nice to have that same kind of feeling in Miami, you know what I mean, in the States. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's awesome. And you come into the UFC in a really exciting time where there's two UK champions, Tom yeah. Aspinall, interim heavyweight champion, and of course, Leon. When you think of just mis mixed martial arts in general in the UK and the mm -hmm. state that it's in at this moment, mm -hmm. and now you get to come to the UFC and fight on the biggest stage, mm -hmm. what does that do for UK? MMA? I think he, for a long time um, the UK has definitely been progressing which is why we have two champions at the moment um, you know it always good like when I when I kind of started in the mixed martial arts world it was very Brazilian at the time a lot of Brazilian champions then it kind of slowly crossed over to the more like American champions and stuff you're seeing a lot of like, the, the the Chechnyan and you know Dagestanis coming through now um, but the UK have always just like just been behind, just be behind. But they're slowly like you can see it building. Like seeing like uh, Jimmy Jimmy Manoa coming through uh, back in the day, inspiring the next generation. Uh, Brad Pickett coming through, inspiring Mike Bisping winning the title, showing people you know it can be done. And then the people to follow Leon Edwards, Tom Aspinall, all these kind of guys, even like Conor McGregor from like, uh, like the UK just. It shows people like, oh, no, this, we can do this. Um, so, yeah, I've definitely come at a very exciting time. And I, I definitely have that kind of energy that, yeah, no, nah, it can be done. I can, I can see myself doing that. What do you want your role to be in all of the names that you just mentioned? Mm -hmm. Obviously, your, your name's going to be mentioned among those. But what do you want your role in this whole thing to be? Um, I just want to keep bringing as, as many eyes to the sport as possible. And I think what's unique about my style is I feel like it softens it softens the blow for a lot of people because it is so entertaining and it can be a bit comical as well. It, it takes you away from the, the, the toughness of the sport, uh, how, how brutal aspects of it can be. So, you know, the, uh, if your mum was watching, your aunties, you know, people that don't necessarily, are not necessarily into combat sports, oh no, I'd never watch that. They see me uh, come on and I'm dancing and I'm like, okay, this, is quite entertaining. this guy's quite entertaining. And then, you know, you know, I'm just putting on a show, the showmanship side, and they start to appreciate it. Like I said, I can soften that blow for people and just open the door to so much more people that probably would never even believe they would ever like mixed martial arts. Um, and, just, and just kind of just pave the way for all of those guys to come and enjoy the same sport. I love that you bring up your showmanship and how you like to be entertaining because that leads me to ask, can we expect a fun walkout in Miami? A hundred percent. Now that's, that's just that like, I think that's part of the package that the UFC have kind of bought into as well. So they know that that's what I come with. Um, I think they, they accept that already. I've spoken to uh, some of the guys. I need to have a few more conversations, um, but they're already like very open. Like, okay, let me know how can we make this the best, you know, you know, event for yourself. And just that, that kind of uh, lingo and, and, and talk just means that, okay, these guys are open to allowing me to really express myself and be me, which is, is great to, to see. I love that. What fight excites you the most? Not to get ahead of Kevin Holland, obviously, mm -hmm. with respect to him. Mm -hmm. Is there a fight that you have your eye on? It's not really just the fight. It's more about the occasion that it, it does. And this is um, um, Leon Edwards, and I'm cool with him. We have no, you know, there's no, there's no, there's no bad blood there. But um, 
like I said, we're prize fighters at the end of the day, but we also spoke about what what's happening in the UK and what's happening for the UK right now. I, I can already foresee me, Leon Edwards, um, in a stadium in the, in the UK, you know, and regardless of what happens and the result on that day, the, the, the belt stays with the UK at the end of it. And I, I, just that excites me, you know, and, and I, more so, not even for myself, just for what it's going to mean to the, the UK. So um, that, I think that's the only thing that I really kind of care about past um, uh, Holland, but as you say, the focus is, you know, it's one step at a time. You've said something in the past that I, I really admire, that you'll continue to, to fight for as long as you choose to, and mm -hmm. the distinction is choose. Mm -hmm. As you think about why you choose to do this every day, what is the biggest source of motivation for you? It, it, it gets hard to keep remembering these things. <laughs> Seriously, it's a, it is a tough game. Um, and as much, it's weird because the, what people are looking at through the screens is us in the cage. And that's not the toughest bit. That's the most fun. That's the, that's the point where that we, we, we are pushing ourselves and killing ourselves to do, to, to be capable to perform at that moment. So those bits, as much as you can have tough fights and so on and so forth, that's still fun for us. It's having to do it over and over again. It's the stuff that you have to do in the shadows every single day, your body feeling like crap and getting up and did it. But right now, I'm still such a fan of just combat. I'm such a, I like, almost like a ch the chess side of combat. I like, like my style, can, if I do this, I can, I can beat that style, just that. That, that kind of the game I'm still very obsessed with and then just bettering and adding certain skills to myself to beat these other styles. I'm still in that process and that still motivates me. So even when I'm tired, even when I'm like, oh, can, can I really be bothered to do that? I know it's just like a phase that you have to kind of go through because I'm still so passionate about doing these things. And I've, yeah, there's things I want to, I still haven't achieved that I want to achieve. And, um, yeah, so that, the, the motivation is still more than the, the pain at the moment, <laughs> but it could change. <laughs> well, we're so excited to have you here in the Octagon with us, and the pinnacle of your career is about to begin. We're yes. very excited to be along the ride for it. Guys, Michael Benham-Page making his debut against Kevin Holland, UFC 299 in Miami.